Most people are consistently on a self-improvement and personal development journey. Working to improve your social skills, mental wellness, self-esteem, and other matters is life-affirming. And finding ways to grow yourself can make you a better friend, parent, worker, leader, and partner. And your actions don't just affect others, it also leads to self-actualization. But like every other journey, there are obstacles for us to avoid, and the journey of personal development is no different. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, procrastination. There's a famous saying that procrastination is the thief of time. And this is true as procrastination is the delay or unwillingness to do something you're meant to do. And this habit can be a real blocker to your growth as it affects every aspect of your life, especially your professional life. Putting off tasks until a later time can seriously affect your productivity. Procrastination can make you miss out on opportunities. You delay in sending in that application. You take too much time to finish that professional course. You drag your heels in preparing for the interview. And after all, procrastination is the grave in which opportunity is buried. To sum it up, procrastination wastes your time, makes you miss out on opportunities, and not achieve the goals you set, all of which can leave you with feelings of regret and hinder your personal growth. Number two, comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. I'm pretty sure we've all heard that saying by now, and we're here to tell you it carries a lot of truth. In all aspects of life, comparison does one of two things. It makes you feel less than or better than other people. Feeling less than someone can lead you to think pessimistically about yourself. Feelings of jealousy, frustration, low self-esteem, and even the desire to give up because you cannot meet up to the standards of those you compare yourself to. While feeling better than someone else is equally as damaging. It causes you to place yourself up on a high horse and judge others because they can't compare to you. And this often leads you to not being able to reflect on your actions properly and leaves you with little to no sense of self. Comparing yourself to others is one of the most prominent forms of self-sabotage, and you might want to avoid it in your quest for personal growth. Number three, chasing perfection. As cliche as it might sound, perfection does not exist, so don't strive for it. Of course, things could continuously be improved, but stopping yourself from executing an idea or a project because it's not perfect is not right. Searching for perfection makes us delay taking action, and when we do take action, it stops us from following through because nothing is ever good enough. The moment we start wanting everything to be perfect, we get stuck. Perfectionism is an idea that cripples you. You constantly agonize over yourself and your work not being good enough, and you refuse to put yourself out there for the opportunities that can help you grow. The idea that you always need to be perfect is an obstacle because perfectionism means being inflexible. Everything you do is done with an all or nothing mindset. No middle ground, it's either perfect or it's a failure. But in reality, perfection just doesn't exist. And imperfection should be seen as the norm because that's what it is. Trying to find quote unquote perfection in everything stops you from enjoying the process of seeing the beauty and joy and wonder in things. Progress should always be the goal, not perfection. Number four, negative thinking. Your mind is one of the most important aspects of your growth. It guides your actions and how you feel about everything and everyone around you. And this is why we must gauge our thoughts and always steer them toward positivity. If our thoughts are positive, they have a beneficial impact on both our physical and mental well being. But if they're negative, our life, actions, and circumstances would probably mirror these negative thoughts. If you believe you will fail, you might unconsciously sabotage every opportunity to succeed. 
negative thinking patterns can have a strong and sometimes devastating impact on us, ruining our mood, straining our relationships, and draining us of our precious energy, which at the end of the day will cast a shadow over your health, work, and all aspects of your life. Number five, self-doubt. Self-doubt is having feelings of uncertainty regarding one or more aspects of yourself, and we all may experience it at certain times in our lives. Self-doubt prevents you from having confidence in a situation that requires you to be confident. You doubt if you're good enough or smart enough to do things you want to do or even achieve anything. It's practically shooting yourself in the foot before you even start. It's also closely linked with imposter syndrome, which is feeling like you don't deserve the success you've achieved when all the evidence points to the opposite. Self-doubt can stop you from moving forward and even pull you back if you let it. The scary thing about self-doubt is it can quickly become a habit for many of us without even being aware of it. Our go-to thoughts as soon as we start dreaming big or thinking about something we want is to jump straight into self-doubt. So getting your self-doubt under control, it doesn't mean you're never going to experience that doubt again, but it does mean you'll be able to learn how to deal with it and push through it quickly and appropriately anytime it comes up. Number six, unrealistic expectations. Everyone ideally should have high expectations. Setting standards for yourself is a brilliant way to live, and having high expectations can be a good thing, but make sure they're realistic. By raising the bar too high, you run the risk of disappointment. And if you cannot accept and process disappointment, you can quickly start to view yourself as a failure, which makes it challenging to get up and try again. Your expectations have the potential to change your outlook on life and can shape your reality. They can change your life emotionally and physically. So you need to be really careful about your expectations, as unrealistic ones can set you up to judge yourself way too harshly, feel frustrated and even depressed, and make life unnecessarily difficult when you don't meet them. It's not always easy, Aluxer, but adjusting unrealistic expectations can bring enormous benefits and a renewed sense of peace. Number seven, a fixed mindset. Having a fixed mindset means you believe your intelligence, talents, and personality traits are fixed traits that cannot change or grow. You think you're born with a certain level of ability and cannot improve those abilities over time. It's basically having a closed mind about yourself and your abilities. If you have a fixed mindset, you believe that things will never change no matter what you do to change them. But on the contrary, having a growth mindset and believing in opportunity and possibility is essential if you want to grow as a person. When you have an open mind and a growth mindset, you believe things can change. You believe that your efforts will be rewarded and you can continually improve on whatever skills you currently have or want. A fixed mindset dangerously limits your ability to grow mainly because you don't even bother to put in any effort to try to improve. If you believe that nothing will change no matter what you do or how hard you work, it'll be so much harder to be motivated to do the work in the first place because deep down, you'll be thinking, ugh, why bother? And as you can imagine, a fixed mindset will never let you grow. Number eight, unnecessary distractions. The ability to maintain your focus and keep your eyes on the prize is arguably one of the most critical skills on the path to growth. We are busy with so many things in our daily life that it's easy to lose focus and give in to distractions. This makes time management and the ability to clear out distractions and focus so crucial because in the middle of all of this, we still have to create time for learning and career growth activities. Most people are constantly busy trying to shuffle between different things simultaneously. 
The ability to focus, prioritize, and manage your time is a huge plus because if you want to grow in your career, you have to avoid distractions in the form of both people and things. Manage your time and create healthy habits and boundaries online when updating your skills and mindset. You can be assured that you'll certainly have your hands full while working on your growth. So unnecessary distractions are definitely something you don't want to deal with. Number nine, living in the past. Look, Aluxer, it's easy to get stuck in the pain of the injustices and letdowns that happened to us in our past. But the reality is, when we dwell on our past, it spills over into other parts of our lives and relationships in the present. It holds you back and slows your progress and development, especially if you're clinging on to those grudges, mistakes, and all the woulda, shoulda, couldas of your past. Of course, mistakes will always happen, but keeping your focus and feelings on these mistakes, it's not gonna take you very far. You cannot change the past, but you can decide to enjoy the present and work toward influencing your future. However, don't confuse living in the past with reminiscing or reflecting. Reminiscing is recalling memories and letting them stay where they should be, in the past. Living there is when you cling to those memories so tightly you cannot move on. Living in your past can kill your motivation because when you constantly dwell on those painful memories, you don't have the energy to look forward to the future. Number 10. Listening to other people too much. Everyone needs someone to act as a support system, a person or a group to always go to for advice. It's okay to have people you listen to, but their opinions should only act as a guide, not absolute dictation of your actions or thoughts. The most important opinion in your life should be your opinion because these opinions and decisions affect you directly much more than anyone else. And although getting a second or third opinion or idea is always advisable, letting them to influence you negatively is not good for your growth. Other people might have a different perspective or motivation in life than you, but that doesn't qualify them to tell you how to live yours. The main thing to avoid here is not listening to other people, but instead feeling the pressure to live up to their opinions because that way you will keep doing something because someone else said so, not because you actually want to do it yourself. Number 11 an unwillingness to learn and unlearn. Our world is so dynamic and constantly evolving, especially in the professional world. New jobs, expertise, and skills come up from time to time. And to keep up, we have to be willing to change and evolve as well because anyone who is stagnant will be left behind. However, learning does not only mean completing a university degree or two, although that's fine if that's what you want. And learning and unlearning doesn't only apply to skills in the professional world either. It can also mean learning and unlearning certain habits that will either be a benefit or a detriment to your overall life. Unlearning habits like procrastination, being disorganized, and irregular sleep can help improve your overall life. The willingness and the ability to learn and unlearn is undoubtedly one of the most essential growth elements. So to ensure you're constantly growing, you must always be willing to learn and unlearn. So to ensure you're constantly growing and on your way to success, you must always be willing to learn and unlearn as needed. Number 12, not appreciating yourself. We often get caught up in the things we haven't achieved yet or how much more we have to do that we forget how much we've already achieved and how far we've already come. Self-reflection and self-appreciation are great for your self-esteem and growth. Taking a step back to be a little more reflective and admitting that you've done well with certain things in your life with an open mind is essential for your growth. Self-appreciation boosts your self-esteem and makes you look forward to the task at hand and how much more can be achieved. So don't hesitate to constantly remind yourself and appreciate how far you've come already. Number 13, Toxic Relationships. 
Many people often think of romantic relationships whenever toxic relationships are mentioned. And although that's a very common form of toxic relationships, it's not the only form. You could be in a toxic relationship with all kinds of different people and things, and they can affect your physical, emotional, and mental health. Regardless, it doesn't matter if the relationship is with your partner, a family member, a boss, or a coworker. If it's fixable, work on fixing it. And if it's not, distance yourself as much as possible or even stop communication with whatever or whoever is making the relationship toxic. Toxic relationships, like the name implies, will slowly drain you as if under the effect of poison and hold you back from living up to your full potential. The impact it can have on your mental state and overall well-being is something you do not want to deal with while trying to grow. Number 14. Fear of Failure Fear of failure is one of the biggest hurdles in personal development. It's the reality that plans fail and people fail, but failure also means you constantly try to grow and improve. It means you're trying to do new things, changing your mindset, taking risks, stepping outside of your comfort zone, learning new skills, and learning how to live. After all, the only people in life who never fail are the same folks who never try. Pushing through fear and taking that leap will give you some of your greatest achievements. Most things that cause a little discomfort are generally good things, but when you give in to fear, you practically box yourself up and stay in your shell. You quit before you even give yourself a chance. As the popular saying goes, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Number 15. Settling Settling is something a lot of people fall for. They get kind of comfortable in a particular zone and they ask, ah, why bother, it is what it is. They settle for a job they're not passionate about and give up on goals that they've set for themselves. If you're not fulfilling your potential in any area of your life, you are settling. And it can be tough to admit, but when you do, you will finally learn how to never settle for less. Look around you, Aluxer. Are you choosing your life and are you living the life you want? Are you actively working toward that life? Because if not, you're settling. To live a fulfilling, passionate, and purposeful life, you must first learn how to never settle for less. Never settle for less in a relationship, your career, your friendships, and your personal growth journey. Now it's time to hear from you, Aluxer. What do you think is the number one thing to avoid if you're working on your growth? Which of these obstacles has affected you before? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We always love hearing from you. And since you stuck with us until the end, we do have a bonus for you. It's common knowledge that our mind is our most powerful ally when it comes to working toward personal growth. But in the same way, it can also be our worst enemy. Did you know that sometimes the mind is programmed in a way that creates obstacles for you? Well, lucky for you, we've already made a video about it. And if you've never seen it before, check out our video, 10 Toxic Beliefs That Keep You From Growing. You can click in the top right corner or hit the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.